Salutations, family. The Weave here, nickname courtesy of Appreciate ASMR. What up, what up? So this tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to clean up your audios, um, increasing the quality a little bit by removing any background or microphone fuzz noise with, without tampering with the vocals. Um, if you don't know what sound I'm talking about, I'll show you in a bit. However, for those who do know what I'm talking about, you'll notice that um, a lot of whispers, uh, soft speakers, ASM artists don't have um, a studio environment or expensive equipment to work with. And this is okay, um, because there are ways to make your audio sound a little more professional, and I can show you how. Uh, it's quite easy, very easy in fact, and very quick. Uh, first of all, you will need a program called Audacity, that's what you see here. Um, Best of all, it's free. Uh, I've posted a download link in the description from the official website. It's not like a pirated bootleg or anything. The program is 110% free, so um, no worries there. Uh, now, once you have it installed and running, uh, this is what you'll see. And now I've already put one of my favorite Whisperers role plays in here. All I did was click and drag it into this window um, it is the wonderful A Whispering Willow with one of her most popular videos. And the reason I chose this one, other than um, her beautiful voice, is that there is a background, somewhat buzzing sound that we're going to get rid of. Um, however, what I did before I clicked and dragged it into Audacity here is... Um, I converted it into an mp3, so I just have the audio, since you can't edit videos in Audacity. So, um, let's get started. The first step, obviously, or well, maybe not too obvious to um, some people who have no clue, um, is to find a spot where there is no talking. So you just hear background noise that buzzing fuzz. And I just zoomed in a little bit with the magnifying glass tool just to find a spot. And I'm going to select the selection tool again. And I'm going to play a little bit here just so you know which sound I'm talking about. Just like this. Play by pressing the space bar. And I'm going to take the towel and just cover the bottom and as you of notice, your body. There's a buzzing okay. sound in the background. I'm not sure you if you notice it made by the microphone <laughs> or by right. the computer, so whatever it may be. There's a background just noise. Close your eyes so we need to find a little portion. As much as possible. Press spacebar again to stop. Uh, we need to find a little portion uh, of no speaking that just has background sound. And let's just look. There's a big spot right here. As you can see, it's all flat here. The line is fairly thick. That's background noise, as you can see. So let's play it, and you can hear it. See that buzz? We're going we're going to take a sample of that buzz. Let's so take a smaller sample, and I'm just going to replay it for you. I'm going to hold down Shift, and you see the play icon changed. Um, it gives you like this repeat symbol. So I'm holding down Shift, press play. So the part that's selected here is strictly the noise as you can see it's um, repeating and this is the sample that we're going to take and so we can remove that sound from the entire audio so I'm gonna press spacebar to stop it and we press effect and click noise removal right here and we need to take the sample get noise profile we click that done there's no loading bar or anything so we just click the button and it takes the sample. Hurrah! And now we deselect it. Click that so it selects the entire audio. Again, it's just this bar. You can click anywhere here to select the entire audio. And click effect again. Go back to noise removal. And here's step two. 
We don't need to change these values here as they're default, and they work with most audio, so we won't have to change it. Um, just press OK, and it's as easy as that. As you can see, um, it's removing all the noise as we speak. So we just have to wait, and wait, and wait. Um, and once this is done, you'll see that these thick lines here get thin meaning that it took out um, the background noise throughout the entire audio. So we're just waiting for this to process. Um, the time that it takes to process depends on how long the audio is. And this is, this is fairly long, longer than um, like a standard song. But it's definitely worth the wait. So here we are. As you can see, it's done and the lines got thinner. Now there is no more background noise. So let's move over to the beginning here, probably like about here. And on my clipboard, I have a copy of what it was before. So I'm just going to press paste. Oops. Sorry about that. I need to deselect that and press paste again. And there, so now we have two. This one at the bottom is before, and this one up here is after. This is strictly for demonstration purposes. Um, you're done a long time ago. So let's just mute this one. Let's hear what and it is now. And as much as possible. All right. Good. Now, I'm so going as you to can begin see, all the background noise is gone. Gently rubbing your back. So that's after, and let's check what it sounds like before. Unmute, mute that one, and let's hear it now. And try to relax as much as possible. All right? So I'm not sure if you hear that okay. buzzing noise in the back, but that's pretty much everything we've removed. So there's your before and after, and let's get rid of this again. And as soon as you've removed all the background noise, you can click File, click Export here, and then you can turn it into an MP3 or WAV file. And put it onto a video, if you like, replace the current audio file there. Um, or you can just um, just upload, upload the MP3 onto YouTube, or, or of course after you turn it into a video. So it's all up to you. Um, and that is how you remove background noise. Uh, if you guys wish to see any more tutorials on how to um, do certain things with audio, just let me know and chances are I may be able to help you.